Hello. So, I decided to make a little video talking about kind of a philosophy that I bumped into on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to attempt to say it. John is it the first one, that's easy. John Jende. Yeah. Sorry. So, essentially, his whole philosophy and this guy is went on TED, TED Talks, rather. He's lived a long time, has a family, has a farm, went to university, didn't finish university because he felt to, to himself it was a waste of time, that he, in the conditions at the time in Thailand, where he lives, that life was a bit too hard. He was suffering a lot for a qualification that may or may not get him anywhere, may not give him any satisfaction. And he comes from a rural place where he could live comfortably. He could work for up to two months in the year and then harvest his food and survive off it. And he had free time. He thought that the way that he was living wasn't easy. And the way that he was trying to live was hard. He felt that the way he was living before was satisfying, but he felt the way he was trying to live wasn't satisfying university that living in a small tiny room with a bunch of other people struggling to make enough to get by to do his course suffering in a busy horrible city something he wasn't used to as a rural kid it was a lot of suffering for nothing and so many others go through that suffering and make life harder and his whole premise is that life is easy and it doesn't need to be hard and that we make it hard for ourselves which is the the root of probably the majority of our suffering so he's of the attitude that one should take it easy and also that they should have the outlook in life that life is easy. This is what made me want to make the video is the fact that I struggle to tell myself that life is easy because it feels wrong. I want to know what you think. Saying life is easy out loud, it feels like a personal insult to anybody who has a physical or mental disability or struggle. Anybody who has a painful or hard life, to sit to spout that life is easy feels wrong. I'm belittling their suffering. It, it, it sounds like I don't consider their suffering as a reality. And it also feels wrong to past me. Past me who's dealt with things, emotional and physical things that have been hard, very hard, and to then to say that life is then easy is to belittle my own suffering as well. And clearly that's not a good way to think either, right? I, I don't know, that's why I'm making the video. Maybe I'll get some answers. But surely the idea of wallowing in our suffering and glorifying it like we do nowadays online, to talk about our struggles, to, the, to, to talk about how hard we have it, the, the more suffering you've gone through, the better off you seem to be socially online right now. <laughs> it's become a culture of wallowing in suffering, I think, in many ways. We know that suffering makes us, you know? Struggle makes people strong. And that's why we all strive to struggle to a degree. Theodore Roosevelt is a famous for saying that he loves the strenuous life, that he was an advocate for it. His life in many ways is probably very hard, but yet he still says that life is easy. And it makes me feel confused, conflicted, tore apart. I'm not quite sure what's the right thing to do or say. To say right now to a camera that life is easy is just going to say to everybody else that my life is easy, and they're going to ignore the fact that actually times it is hard, and that times in their life are easy. That I can have it hard and they can have it easy and I can say that life is easy and they'll still probably react in a negative way to that. It feels wrong mostly because of the culture I come from but maybe also because of my own personal views about belittling difficulty in general. It's a hard thing to say and think but the few times that I've said it to myself it's felt good to say it and it's made the things that I find hard not hard. Like, here's a point before I end the video. Basically, like, training is difficult. Exercise is difficult, yeah. Work is difficult. 
Going to bed on time is difficult. Doing things that are hard, like cleaning your house or a chore you don't want to do, is difficult. But it's not difficult the whole time. We say it's difficult, but there are there's a period when it's difficult, and there are periods where it's not. Going to the gym is not difficult until you really start to lift the heavy weights. Running on the treadmill, talking to somebody, and lifting light weights and focusing on technique is not difficult. It is actually easy, and it's satisfying. It's only about halfway when you're tired, or what you're lifting is heavy, does it get immediately difficult. If you lift heavy early, you can make it difficult sooner, but the whole act of training doesn't have to be difficult. Not every day. Only some of it is. Maybe the middle bar part will be difficult, and then you start to go into a descending, like descending sort of difficulty in weight. Just depends. Work is difficult, yes, but the two hours at the start in the morning doesn't tend to be difficult. And then you have lunch and break, which isn't difficult at all. Tidying room can be difficult, but there are many times where it's quite easy. Like getting the Hoover put together and bringing it into your room can be difficult, but then Hoovering's not. Washing the car can be difficult, but only some things are difficult, like cleaning the windows and the roof isn't. There are things that we call or completely say or envelop into a zone and call it difficult and we run away from it when only maybe a couple minutes of it are actually hard. And that the majority of those actions are easy and therefore in general, the majority of life is easy. Because the majority of life is not difficult tasks, but either no task or an easy task. That's what I've taken from this. And I feel like that might actually help me get on and do more stuff. And maybe feel a little less overwhelmed by things. Because I am acknowledging that the thing I am doing is, as of yet, not actually hard yet. Final example. This video. Making videos is hard because I have to edit them. And I talk a lot, so I have a lot to edit, because I don't want you to be bored. That would put me off making videos, and it does. But talking to the camera isn't. I just have to, I just sit and I talk. I just look at the camera and I talk. And talking to the camera feels good, in fact. It's not just easy, it's satisfying. Why don't I do it more? Because I'm putting off editing. And editing's not even that hard. I can take it easy. I can lower the quality slightly. I can just snip it. I don't have to have music in every video. I don't have to have a, a dozen pictures. I don't have to have layer on layer and layer and layer. I can just keep it simple and put them out regularly and feel satisfied with myself. And instead I make it harder. But I, maybe I put it off because I have the wrong mindset. I have a stupid modern Western mindset, which is in many ways, incompatible with being happy. Thank you for watching. God bless.